there and welcome back to this channel. After I left Venice, there was a period of time I spent at home and I began to feel a bit itchy and was ready for, this might sound a bit cliche, but another adventure. So when an offer to go to this beautiful little town in Croatia popped up, I was sold. Welcome to Croatia. You know what they say about traveling that it leaves you speechless and then turns you into a storyteller? I mean, I think it's really true. I love to travel, I really do though. It is kind of scary sometimes and I need to gather all of my guts to go somewhere. But it's just so, so beautiful when you go somewhere and you can explore. And I know that I'm really, really so many places and with the Venice I know how extremely grateful I should be for that experience and I am, trust me. But it's just look there. It is not very hard for me to like a place when there is water, sea especially, beautiful nature and even better when there is some little old picturesque historical town I can visit. Stone paved promenades, ah, uh, and walking under the pine trees, listening to the water sounds. I don't need anything more. Now, here was one of my favorite spots and a bit of an agility course. I found a tiny secluded spot to sit down and simply be, and honestly when I tell you that I really did enjoy that moment, yeah, I would love to come back. I'm just listening to the waves here and the weather is just beautiful, it's not too hot, not too cold, it's just great, and the water is so clear, just wow. small island and I have to watch out if the tide isn't going to block me from going back on the ground <laughs> because yes probably the tide is coming in or the time says so that it should so I have to really be wary of that Maybe it's just my thing, but whenever I visit a port, I am reading the names of the boats and always look for some familiar one that I could connect to the people I know. The town itself really reminded me of Venice. Or at least some of the houses did. I just love to observe the beautiful architecture everywhere I go. I couldn't get enough of the colors when the sun was setting down. Ah, oh, just so magical. Yes, this place might be a bit touristy and mainly for a lying on the beach type of vacation, but we traveled in spring and oh my, the temperature was perfect. You will probably hear me ramble about that a lot and about the clarity or the clearness of water. This gelateria had such sweet interior and this window seat, wow. There was this little hidden spot. I totally, totally fell in love. This is just so magical place. Oh, it's 
and everything. Wow. You might say it is not hidden at all. I mean, there is a vast open space and whatnot, but for some reason, people just had a tendency to overlook it. And I would have done the very same were it not for my camera. I decided, for some reason, it would be a nice shot on the grass field and walked a few steps out there. And here it was. I feel like in some kind of a fairy world. It's so, so enchanting. And look at the water. It's so pristine and clear. The moment wow. I've seen it, I was totally okay. sold and felt like, oh, this is so cute. Sometimes you don't really need to go that far to see something really beautiful. And this definitely, definitely. So it is officially another day and it's our last day here in this beautiful place. So we have to really do our best to enjoy the last bits of the sea and the sun before we return to before we return home to a much colder weather. <laughs> I feel like I haven't said it enough times, but look at how clear the water is. You can really see everything. That's so insane. So insane. Can you see it? There's two of them. There is an extremely beautiful garden. Look at this. It's hidden. And so beautiful. This bench is a pure treat. Look at that, I mean, wow. I have to try it. Oh! Just perfect, really. The sea, the city. What do you want more? Today was really, really windy, and today it's better. So the sun is warm, it's shining, it's so, so great. And yeah, that might be it for now. I remember that I was here as a very little girl, like maybe I was seven or something, and the water wasn't so clear as it is right now. So that's definitely a step up from the last time. Having a villa like this, just right across from the sea, that would be a dream come true. I really do hope you've enjoyed today's video and and I guess that's it for me right now. I do wish you a beautiful day or night wherever in the world you are and I will see you again next week. Bye!